Hello, beautiful ones. This is Miss Arkeetha Soul to Soul Connection coming to you with Cancer Readings for the last two weeks of December, rounding out 2018. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we ready. We ready, Cancer. Ain't we ready? We ready, Cancer. This is for December the 16th through December 31st, New Year's Eve. <laughs> I love New Year's. Do you? I hope you do because this is going to go into 2000. We're going to round this out going to 2019 with a bang gizzle. Okay. <laughs> this general reading may not resonate with you, but if it does, take those messages and run with them. Those are your angels trying to reach you, connect with you, talk to you, love on you. If you would like a personal reading, I have $25 30-minute readings. All the information will be at the bottom in the description box. $25, 30-minute readings. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share, beautiful ones. Share all of this love, Cancer. Share all of this love for Miss Arkeetha. All right. Let's get it started. Let's get those energies right, Cancer. Cancer. Mm. Cancer, I'm getting a strong energy from you. You are ready. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. I can't wait to see what the cards get ready to say. That was noise. Okay. So, we're going to start with our Soul Journey cards. Let's get this popping. Soul Journey cards. What do you have to tell our Cancers? Cancer, Cancer, Cancers. Yes. For the last two weeks of December. What's going on? Let's get those cards popping. Angels, what do you want to do? Oh, there we go. Angels, 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 angels. What do... You want to let Cancer know. Angels, angels, angels. Oop, there we go. Okay. Cancer, 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 cancer. Oh, yes. Uh. And uh, uh. All right. Let's see. And then we're going to go to our angel cards. Are. Ooh. Our angel cards, archangel cards. What do you want Cancer to know about the last two weeks of December? We are ready. We have been putting in that work. This year has been a doozy for us, but 2019 is going to be what the year. We have cleared out all of those negative energies we've been working on ourselves. What do you want Sorry, excuse me. Cancer to know. Cancer, 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 cancer. Let's get this cancer. And then we're going to go to our angels and ancestors. See what they have to say. We're going to see this popping. Because we are ready to round out 2018. Yes, we are. We are ready to round out 2018. We are ready. We are ready for 2019. What do you have to... There we go. Boom. There we go. Cancer's on it. Let's get it. They like, Cancer's like, look, I ain't got time. Look, just get with it, girl. Get with it. Get with it, girl. I'm getting with it. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Like, oh, oh, yes. Boom, boom. There we go. All right. So let's look at these cards. We're going to turn them over. Uh-huh. Cancer. Cancer. Let's, oh yes. That's what we like to see. All right. Cancer, first card is denial. 
I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Fear about the future, you know, fear about how things are going to turn out, indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life, which a cancer is just that type of person anyway. You know, it's just what it is. Point blank on that one. Patience. Patience. I accept that, that everything happens in divine order. So, um, accepting that the fear that I'm having, that things are, I'm in denial about things and, and decisions that I'm having, I have to have the patience to know that everything is working out the way it should. That everything is just working out in my favor. And just know that and not fight against it. Peace. Cancer, know that you have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So Cancer, just know that the peace is there once you release all of this denial and indecision about it and have patience about the process that you're on, the peace will surround it. You will find that peace within the situation. So you have that peace as long as you have that patience. Okay, loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. You're surrounded by love. So just know that when you have these doubts and you have this, this indecision and you have this denial about the peace that you already have in your life and you're not being patient with it, then it's going to make you feel alone in the process. You feel like I'm fighting this battle by myself, but you're not cancer. You're not fighting the battle by yourself. You have people around you. You're just so strong in your convictions that you feel like there's nobody that's going to do it like I can do it. But that is incorrect. You have th people and and situations that surround you that's trying to assist you with this. Thus the universe. Thus your angels. You're having, you have spiritual understanding. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols. And helping you understand spiritual truths. So it's there. The truth is there. You have the peace there. And which you have the prosperity as well. But when you have all these feelings of denial and decision about things because you want to make sure everything is on the on top, you're on top of things, you forget about the prosperity that you already have. Look at that. That's beautiful. You have it. Your material needs are provided. Um, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition, which we've already been talking about. Following your intuition and, mani and manifest your dreams into reality. So you have the peace. You have the patience. So when you do that, the prosperity comes behind it. Because you have your angels and the universe working and your spirit guides working and your ancestors working on the back end. Okay? Healthy lifestyle. Eat a healthy diet, get get adequate sweet sleep, exercise regular, and for optimal health. If you've been feeling draggy lately, just look at the things that you're doing. Maybe that's the reason why you're feeling kind of sluggish. You're feeling kind of like lonely in this. Um, it'll bring those types of thoughts to you if you're not taking care of your health. So for up, the most important thing is taking care of ourselves, Cancer. So that we'll have a more positive outlook and an aspect on things. Hello from heaven. Our angels are telling us your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of any worries and feel their love and blessings. Hello from heaven. Like I said, these are your messages from your angels, your ancestors. Even ancestors you have never met before. That's bringing you energies to push you along this journey. Indigo and crystal children. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Indigo crystal children. Take this, take these feelings of loneliness and pour them into your family. Pour them into your family. Then you will feel that you're not alone. Then you'll know that you're not alone. Pour them into your friends. Um, and a lot of times... Our family is people who are not our blood relatives. We have, you know, uh, godchildren that 
we can pour our love into. We have grandchildren and all these other things that bring us joy and happiness, Cancer. But what you have to do is understand that everything happens for a reason that's leading to the prosperity. You hellos from heaven. People, you have the angels on your side. You have to just feel that. Peace coming, that prosperity coming with the patience though. Okay? Now, we got to be brave and honest about things. The night card is letting you know. This is from our angels and ancestors. Cancer that you have this. Just be brave and honest about this process and you will be fine because you're brave and honest anyway. Exchange energy and create abundance. So it's going to lead to the pro, uh, to your prosperity. When you're having these exchanges of energies with others, that creates abundance. When you're spreading positivity to others, spreading love, spreading the joy, then that's what brings it into you. We're looking for that. Hold your space, Druid. This last two weeks, we are knowing we're going to hold our space. We're going to stay healthy in our thoughts, which is going to bring the peace and prosperity. Direction Garden. Choose your path. Beautiful. So when we're in this place of holding our space, exchanging these energies cancers with others that have the same mindset as ourselves, that path is going to be clear for 2019. It's going to lead you to move beyond your ancestral patterns of thinking negative, of holding on to negativity, of holding on to those thoughts that do not serve you. They are not going to serve you in 2019, so we want to let all of that go. Beautiful! Because we already, first cards up was the peace and prosperity. We just have to have patience in it. What we're going to do is check with our, our goddess cards. We want a roundup. For cancer, 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 cancer. What does cancer need to know? How is this prosperity coming to them in 2019? If we work it in it on it on this, what bring us that nugget that cancer needs to clarify that in 2019 we are now working on that nugget that is going to bring all our our manifestations to the forefront. So goddess card goddess card goddess card one goddess card for cancer one goddess card for cancer there we go high priestess diana I already told you anything, way, Cancer. You are that hustler. You got this. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. Cancer, you got this. Beautiful. Beautiful. The things that you have learned this year, the things that you've went through this year, the things that, the challenges, the mountains, the, the molehills, everything that you went through this year is bringing you out like the king, the queen, the high priestess that you are, Cancer. You got this, Diana. Come on, come on, which is bringing that peace. Look, it just blend. Look how, look at how the cards just blending together. That's going with that prosperity. You about to get canceled. You already in it and you have it. You just don't see it. But that's okay. Mother Gaia, round us out for cancer. Mother Gaia, round us out for cancer. Because I don't think they believe me. Round us out for cancer. So they know. So they know that they got this. Clarifying card for cancer. What's the clarifying card for cancer? He, look, cancer's already got this together. They know that the prosperity is here. And coming, it's in the process, it's in the works. And so 2019 is going to just bring it all together for cancer. Let's, woo, oh, there we go. The search. Feeling lost, confused, and lonely, which goes with the loneliness card. You're feeling that. That's the feeling, but that's not the truth. That's fake news. The search. Number six card. The search, feeling lost, confused, and lonely. Let that go. 
If that's where you're at, Cancer, right now, that's fake news for you, okay? Let that go because that's not who you are. You're in it. You feel it. And that's the truth because you're feeling it. You're in it. But when I tell you that 2019 is bringing it in to you, uh, it's just what it is. You're working on it right now. I have that strong view. You're working on it right now which is releasing all the negativity, which is going to bring in all of your pos pro uh, prosperity into the future and all the peace and positivity that you need. Cancer, just hold tight and just know that the angels are definitely, definitely, definitely working this out in your favor. Your ships are coming in. Just have patience. Your ships are coming in. And you're going to start seeing this in the last two weeks of this 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 month, this year, which is going to make look how bright it is anyway. Your cards are just so together in the and just linked together and letting you know that 2019 is going to be your year of prosperity. You just have to have faith in that. Everything is going to round itself out together. The patience is the key for you, Cancers. Patience is going to be the key. But you're going to already start seeing it anyway. So, because what's going to happen, you're going to, uh, these last two weeks are going to start, those nuggets are going to start hitting. Those lightning bolts are going to start hitting. Then you're going to be like, okay, I got this. 2019, watch out. Cancer's going to have this. Let me get a cold lamp on you, 2019. All right, I'm going to leave it with that. Just so beautiful. Beautiful prosperity is what you're going to come with. Um, Cancer's just beautiful prosperity. You got this. It's just for you. It's just there. And the angels are telling you. I'm not telling you. The angels are telling you. You got this. I'm going to leave you with the peace, love, and tranquility. This wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas. And a very, very, very happy new year. Peace, love, and tranquility, Cancers. Namaste.